Welcome to the OSRs podcast. We're trying a little something different this time. Uh, Mitt Metcalf's not going to be with us. He's uh, in the cow fields in California with his family <laughs> grazing, grazing the, the grass or something. But yeah, he's kind of busy right now. So anyways, uh, we're trying to do like a one topic style podcast. We're experimenting with it. So let us know how yeah. you like it by, you know, after watching this video in the comments and whatnot. Yeah. So, so yeah. it, dude, if I can go in a little bit of depth. So basically what we want to do is we want to have two podcasts a week. One will be the proper podcast where we have a guest on us, all three of us. And then we want to have a separate podcast, which isn't technically a podcast. It's probably going to be from 10 minutes to 30 minutes tops, I imagine, where we, we cover a specific subject, something which is going on in the community or like a big update something something big you know it could be controversial or it could just be like a really good update and we want to talk about it so realistically we want to be uploading two videos a week and we will all try our best to make it to the video which is between 10 and 30 minutes however with our schedules it's not always going to happen so at some points it may just be one of us doing it and obviously if you guys react well to this we'll keep on doing it if you guys aren't too fast we'll yeah, probably step yeah. away from it so let us know down in the comments and give us some feedback about it boys yeah we're, we're trying to do like the main podcast every week but this week's not uh not going to be able to be uh, possible due to yeah. reasons but um yeah uh the the topic that we want to cover today is a pretty pressing one it deals with the runescape account security yeah, yeah. it's uh, you know Something that is supposed to have been taken care of many, many moons ago, but um, here they are. They have actually made an update. Not a real, yeah. real update <laughs> per se, but it's just more about letting you know what's going on with yes. you know the potential update at hand. So and do you know what? It ain't getting pulled, so we already know this is yeah, actually I... gonna fucking happen. Thank God, yeah. it's about time. But. Yeah, Dude, I'm so, I'm so happy that they've covered this. Honestly, like mm. you've no idea. I like retweeted this. I never tweet, and yeah, like no, I saw no. it, and I was just like, "This is something worth discussing." 100%. No, this this is a big deal, man. All right, so I'm I'm just gonna just read it word for word, pretty much, just because we only you know have one topic. It's been a while since our last update. So when was this last update? <laughs> I swear it's probably like June 2019. My God, <laughs> dude, that was like. Five months ago, man. Yeah, Dude, I'd love, I'd love to know like how many accounts have been hacked between then and oh now. Oh my god! I mean, at least w the people that I know, at least twenty. <laughs> oh, oh man. my god! Work on account security improvements has continued. We have just today gone live with the website login authenticator checks. Oh my god, that's huge! That's absolutely huge. Did you know, you you don't actually need an authenticator or a two step factor. To log into the website, which you can, you know, then access like your emails and stuff to change it and all that, all that crap. Oh my that, god! Wait, wait, wait! So hold up, they've actually that's already in yeah. practice right yeah, now. Like, just gone done... live. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. thank god. Okay, that's on its own a very right. big update. That's good. Like, dude, we talked about this a while ago. That should have been in for years, just like most of these ones that they're probably gonna talk about. And work continues on further authenticator improvements. However, we also endure, endured a sustained multi-month attack on our servers and the time required to manage this has pushed back other more feasible projects. What? Okay, apparently there's been some DDoS or something. Here's an update on where we're at. Okay, so before I go to any further, seriously, uh, just small tangent relating to this. Because they didn't have Authenticator on the website for the longest time, I remember the first time I ever legitimately got hacked by someone other than my friend. <laughs> they could not get into my bank pin, right? But the thing is, they could get log into the website. So they changed my mains account to, I think it was called Two Gay for You. So the number two, and the and four is the number four. Ugh, fucking hell, dude! That's so stupid. <laughs> I had to, I had to switch. I had to use a bonus switch it back, man. Fucking hell. But yeah, it was bad. That's when I realized I was like, bro, I am not safe. But yeah, okay, authenticated delay. That's huge, you know. That's like this one of the most simple requests that we've always asked for the longest time. Yeah. Yeah. Since the last blog, many of you have told us that you want additional security for the authenticator. Common request is for the introduction of a delay. A delay would give you the chance to block any attempt to to remove your authenticator by someone with access to your email address. However, introduce Yeah. However, introducing a delay would also create a number of issues. Okay. Yeah, I knew there were, there were a few ones. It requires you to respond to any alerts during the alert, uh, delay period. Any email alert but, by design, yeah. 
does it say how long the delay period is not yet uh, i think i'll tell okay. you i think i'll tell you okay e email alert by design relies on an email that's being sent to your compromised email account obviously whoever has control of your email can easily delete this if, yeah. e if your email alert is deleted you risk missing the alert and you should have and should you happen to not log in during the delay period there's the added complication of the email potentially being sent to your junk or spam folder if a hijacker gets into your account and sets their own authenticator, it will keep you out of the game for even longer. Okay, so... I mean, okay. Dude, talking about if it gets sent to your junk folder, like, mm -hmm. if your Ringscape account gets hacked and it's something you actually care about, like, you're going to be checking all mail, like, and refreshing that every single yeah. hour, if not every five minutes. So, like, I don't really think that's an issue. Yeah, Obviously, so... it's, it's a small one, but so number it's not a huge So, five, one. this one, um, I'm, not, I'm not sure how to feel about this one because mostly... If you made the account, you definitely have access to the account in the first place, no matter what. That That's just how it is. Unless, unless it's an old account and you haven't played for a long time and you kind of forgot the details. So this is really more of an issue. Number five is an issue for people that has an account for years, kind of forgot their details and, you know, and a hacker or a friend eventually just kind of got into the account and, and they've been playing it for a long time and you know, that, that could be an issue. But yeah. for people that's just been, you know, made a new account, been active, play on it, I think that's the vast majority nowadays, right? Not many people just kind of, well, I, I don't know. That's a, that's kind of a stretch of assumption. But yeah, number five, though, is contentious. Um, right, but yeah. But one sec. So I've read on a little bit here, and it said to avoid these flaws, we're taking a different approach. So are they not doing that at all? There is not going to be a delay. They're doing these backup code things. Well, let's, is that what let's this figure is it out. Let's figure it out what it is. Okay, so to avoid these flaws, they're going to maybe uh, implement backup codes we intend to introduce a backup code system this means you'll receive a backup code during your authenticator sub that will that you need to write this down and keep it in a safe place honestly i do the same shit i i have i have a lot of my information yeah in nice nice little notebook dude if you care about any online information you never save it online ever i would even trust like these websites that save your passwords and stuff Yo, like, unless you know, you're, used to say they're not gonna get yeah, hacked. unless you're using but, like an encrypted service you know which costs yeah. money like you're not don't don't put that stuff no in your but it's so it's stupid go to the one pound shop or one dollar store buy yourself a fucking notebook write your shit down in there simple as i mean that's like the safest way and then the only way someone's going to get your information is if they literally rob your house. Yeah, in which yes, case, exactly. In, in which case, if your house is getting robbed, your RuneScape account is probably the last thing you're really caring about. So, yeah, they might they know. might go the extra mile, but you're, you're, at, <laughs> you're at their mercy, so it doesn't matter anymore. At that point. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we intend to introduce a backup code system. This means you'll receive a backup code. Sure. Oh, I already read that, sorry. Uh, this will be used to remove your authenticator. If you don't have access to it anymore and prevents compromised emails being used to steal accounts, your backup code will only be used on a website to remove your authenticator. Be sure to keep your backup code safe. We've chosen this approach over a delay for a number of reasons. I'll be honest with you, I don't even mind having this instead of the delay. Yeah. Because I wasn't the first person that wanted to delay, but I'm just but I, I thought, you know what, if if it was gonna be one thing that they had to do at least just do that one but yeah. you know i think the backup code is actually better for sure I, I i agree dude i think this is a better choice considering i don't really see any flaws isn't it like the, put it this way the thing up the, the thing only with, um, flaw is you're a messy person and you need yes. to figure your shit out in your life and you just yes. cannot find stuff which but is basically like that problem. i i like that because it takes the blame completely away from jagex like with yeah. this way of doing it it's like well if you lose your code then that's on you like that's your yeah. portfolio. So code, the the only the only issue that I could see from this is casual players that kind of just like you know want to make the account and they didn't think much of it and they didn't write it down. That's your fault. But you know if you don't write it down, but like casual players are gonna have this issue. But it's okay because yeah. casual players tend to be the people that you know isn't gonna play a whole lot anyways by the end of exactly. The end of the day. And like if they do end up quitting the game and coming back and can't get back into their account, they just make firstly, account for the most I'm sure there's a way they're going to talk about recovering that. And secondly, they probably haven't made enough progress to really like, care. It won't matter yeah. too much. Yeah. Like it might be, I don't know, a week. That, that's of I time. think that's a small. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I think no no system for this is going to be perfect. So I think that's the only flaw is people that didn't take it seriously, don't take the code seriously, and just kind of. Mm. Forget to write it down or just aren't really careful with their online day-to-day -day info. 
Guys, yeah. seriously though, if if you're not already prioritizing keeping your online accounts info safe, you need to do that now. I don't. It doesn't matter if you play a lot of RuneScape or not. This is really just a PSA announcement for if you use the internet a lot. If you go go to the internet for more than a few hours a day, you are bound to make many many accounts. Some are very important to you, you know. And yeah. information logging into those accounts, you need to write those down somewhere or, or yes. store it somewhere like an encrypted service, somewhere important and e you know easy for you to look up, but not easy for hackers, you know, or people that are trying to brute force your your accounts to find. Seriously, you got you got to do this, man. So backup codes should be a part of an already established, you know, like habit that you do. Because yeah, yeah, it's it's huge. So you won't need to interview to prevent your authenticator being removed. Two, hackjackers that don't have your backup codes will not be able to remove your authenticator. Three, if you lo lose access to authenticator, your backup codes can be used to restore access. Even if someone gains access to your email address, your RuneScape account will remain secure. Fine. That's brilliant. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Great. Because emails have been the actual front door for the longest time. Not many people notice, know that. Mm. Other companies have successfully used the same system, gives, giving us a clear idea of what the right solution looks like. Yeah, I mean, believe it or not, the amount of people that tell me they, they've two-stepped their RuneScape account, but never two-stepped their email, baffles me. You know what I'm saying? Because people actually do that. So having this would eliminate even that responsibility to that degree. Because like you can literally just two-step your RuneScape account and not your email, but with the backup codes, you can save yourself. So... Right. But does that mean that, like, say, for example, obviously, when you make a RuneScape account, you log in with, like, an email address nowadays, and, like, you are linked to an email address. So if your email account just gets absolutely taken from you, like, there's no way you didn't set any, like, authenticator or backup to be able to get it back. So with this in place, I even think if the, your email yeah. is completely gone, you can still save your account and change the email somehow? Yeah. For getting yeah, into yeah. the main website and changing? Yeah. As long as it may, as long as they made it... Oh, that's difficult actually, because at the moment they make it so if you want to change your email, you have to yeah. confirm yeah, yeah, in your confirm. current email. So it, has that been like brought up in this post? I don't think so. I don't think so. So yeah, so there are some flaws such as like, um, yeah, just switching emails, because like, how are you gonna do that, right? If in a, like they, they didn't really address that, but that's not really that big of an issue, because the biggest thing is actually keeping your account for yourself and not for anybody else but yeah, yeah i think they'll i'll have to address it of course because if you use the backup system you're gonna need another way to switch emails or, or or just in a situation where you don't know how to get into your email anymore and you need to find a way to switch it because like i've well, had people ask me this a lot of times like so i can't log into my email how do i switch it it's like that's a good question i have no idea i actually don't yeah. know <laughs> i don't know what the what you have it, it's do. impossible if they were to make it so if you have yeah. the original backup code which there will only be one backup code, so it will be the original. If that can like overwrite basically everything, and when you put it in, like you can basically just go ahead yeah. and there'll be an option to reset your email without confirmation from your current email. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that uh, yeah. would be great. Because like I know that sounds scary and people might think, well, what about people that are hacking accounts? But then again, it's like for them to actually be successful that they have to have your email. The backup code, which is either a case of like I said, they, your they, house they, got they. fucking robbed, or you were stupid enough to give that information to someone, which is just like, well, that's on you. Yeah, pretty much. The only way, like, if if the backup codes came out, basically the only way you would lose your account is someone physically goes to your house and takes it. Yeah, and that's a lot of effort. I don't, most hacks, most hacks attempts are, are from people that you don't know. So yeah, they're not gonna come Dude, to your house. This is so good, and like I know for a fact, if there's any like hackers out there that watch this podcast or get shown this, they're gonna hate me for saying this, but I'm so fucking happy this is happening. Hell like yeah. this is when it when it comes to like that dirty scamming, that dirty hacking, which is just like getting involved in people's real life, you know? Because it goes onto all social medias, man. Like when I've been hacked in the past, it's been done through Facebook. Of yeah. all fucking mm -hmm. places, you know yeah. what I mean? So like, they get into the nitty gritty shit. They like yeah, they, track they, you they. down. It's like stalking 101. And like, those fucking scumbags, those absolute degenerates, they ain't gonna make him fuck all money off this anymore. Which is amazing. It's like, they've, they're basically like ending these hackers RuneScape careers because believe me, man, these hackers make a fucking shed ton of money. Yeah. Like a shed ton, dude. Even just off of like the people yeah. on Twitch that are stupid enough to like, go to the giveaways that 
boat he's doing etc <laughs> do you know what i mean like i i know it might seem like to us it's like you know yeah. we know what it is it's been around for ages but like there are a lot of people that still fall for that and there still they will don't. be they don't know but there'll be there'll be players that are um i would imagine are either new and they're not so dedicated to the game or they're returning players so i think it's it. very very important uh, Jagex should do something which implements this even more, right? So I think that after you've invested perhaps, say, like 100 hours into the game, which I think is a good amount, or maybe even 50 hours, you should be prompted to set up a backup code. Because I think once you've invested like 100 hours into a game, it's pretty clear that you're not really going to be going anywhere. And like, you might stop playing, but chances are you're going to continue playing. I'm sure they have like all the statistics. All and right. Stuff so, like that. so there's one thing I want to address is what a, so when, how are you going to get these backup codes, you know, for accounts that already exist? That's, that's what I am not a hundred percent sure because once this I update did. comes out, what would, what would happen was that every, would everyone have to just kind of log in again to, on the website I think, or something to get the code or i think it will literally just be that yeah it'd be as simple as when the authenticator came out like it would just be a case of if you want it you go onto the website and you basically click backup code ah no and you get that's that's that that's that's not gonna solve a lot of the problems because i mean it'll solve problems for high level players the dedicated players that actually kind of keep in touch but like for the people that you know just don't really pay any attention to anything those guys, they're just not gonna do the codes. They're just gonna, ah, oh, I'm too lazy, Ben. I, I'll, I'll just, you know, I'll come by another day and like they get hacked and like, oh, fuck, well, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but but I the thing is, wish... like, dude, that that yeah. is solely down to the person. It's the same with like people that don't set authenticators now. It's like know, it's not still... Jagex's fault if you get hacked and you haven't, like, you've got no precautions, like, and you're not willing to get the ultimate precaution right here which is I mean, basically a get out of jail free card yeah yeah it's but on i'm you. just saying i'm just saying like i feel like it should be mandatory for any account i feel like it should be mandatory yeah just, i agree just I, cause I think it, I it's think like it it's, I, all right all right this is like a terrible analogy but it's like you're you're not you're not gonna let people drive if they don't have a driver's license you know what i'm saying like you gotta get this thing like this is a terrible analogy but you know you get what i'm saying like i feel like everybody who owns a runescape account whatever the account is you you should be mandated to actually receive these codes and actually you be responsible to write it down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because Maybe they could, they excuses could or not, right? Excuses or not, lazy or not. You're forced to, you write it down. And, and in that case, if you don't write it down, that's complete your fault. Because then when it comes to you bitching about you losing your account and then someone asks you, do you have, did you have your codes? And then if you say something as stupid as, uh, I forgot to write it down, then that's completely your fault. You know what I mean? Because, like, Jagex has literally recommended to you at this point. You know what I mean? They Like, they literally loaded the thing to tell you to get these codes. But if you don't do it, that's that's 100% your fault. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I, 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 mean, I, I think we owe it to Jagex to actually mandate this for any account. Yeah. But. I mean, what they could do is they, sh they could make it so every time you log into the game, like, if you have, like I said, over 100 hours invested for any account, whether that be new or old, Maybe there's like a very obnoxious message that comes up in the chat. Like maybe fills the entire chat box like in red that just says you haven't set your backup code. And like maybe yeah, or like an urgent message. Like literally, I want yeah. this shit to happen every single day. I want this message to pop on every RuneScape account for an hour at a time. What like every hour pop this shit up? Because <laughs> if you don't think, do this code, yeah. like you know what I mean? Like that you have to at least have seen the codes. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the whole yes. point I want to make. You have and to like, at least see the it, codes. It could literally just be in the chat box and it could be all in red regardless of yeah. whether you've got mm -hmm. it hidden or not. That says like, you know, you haven't set your backup code. Click anywhere on there and it'll pop you up to the main yeah, website. Yeah. Like literally to the login page. You log in, you get your backup code. You do what you want with it. And like, obviously they're going to have like something on there where it shows the backup code and then there's going to be like a tick box, which is like, yes, I've secured this code or I've written it down, etc. I'd have no problem with that. And obviously, once you have yeah, set yeah. your backup code, mm -hmm. you'll never get that message again. Yeah. I'd and be and, more and, than and happy. one and, and uh, one one thing. What was I saying? Oh, okay. Ah, dang. I I forgot the thing. But another good point is. So I think the only flaw that I can see with this, besides you know people not being responsible and just you know remembering it or writing it down, is that what about for accounts the few accounts that are already kind of like stolen by yeah. hackers. That are, like I, f I feel mm. like 
that there might be a few cases where an owner of an account, the true owner of an account, has already had trouble keeping the account to himself because like the hacker is just kind of like really consistent with getting it back because you, you can see you can see what i'm you know what i'm about to get yeah, into is no, that no i know i know the exactly hacker what can actually saying. get the backup codes and then you're fucked yeah so, um so, i mean but it's a rare i think it'll be a rare case i think most people no, i think eventually the owner right. gets it back uh, eventually the uh, owner gets the account back but yeah but however eventually right yeah, so it's yeah. like whoever gets you, it first you know, is gonna it, exactly account, really. I, I think if a hacker is slacking then chances are they're not gonna you know get the account in time maybe like maybe like a month before or maybe a week before this update goes live jagex could like implement an update or something where if you've ever had an account like an appeal for an account which is like yours or like you've lost an account something along those lines we'll see hackers recover accounts as well but it gives you like the ultimate option to be able to like determine whether the account's yours. And obviously if you have all the evidence to show that it's yours, you get the account yeah, back. Okay. Yeah. And you know, if you don't have the evidence to prove that it's yours and the hacker has more somehow, then that's kind of tough tits. And I know that sucks, yeah. but, but I, I don't mean, really see very, a way around that. That's a very small, I think that would just, like literally if a hacker has more info about your personal life than you yourself, Bro, yeah, you, you, need to fix your, you need to fix yourself, all right? <laughs> you need to fix your I mean, life, yeah, seriously, <laughs> you know, seriously, you got to fix yourself because, like, you've been giving away way too much shit online. You've been putting yeah. away way too much shit on, on like, Facebook or something, you know? And, and either way, bro, yeah, I think what's going to come down to is accounts that have a clean record of never having to have been, you know, a, a appealed for anything will automatically get this option right away. And then accounts that are kind of, like, iffy, I don't know. They might have to go through an extra process, like you said, right? For like people in the in in the Jagex and anti hack service or whatever, for them to like go through it. Yeah. Because like I those mean, are the all those are gonna be the weakest ones. Those are the ones that are th gonna you know the controversy is gonna come from those people. Yes, I yeah, agree. And 100%. to be honest with you, like talking about this right now, it just makes me feel like this should have been a mandatory thing when 07 for was years first released. for years like it not for not even for years like as soon as you made your account on the day the old screenscape I mean, went live yeah this should have been mandatory for everybody and it's a shame that it's taken this long but put it this way once this update comes out like if you've ever like quit the game because your accounts got hacked or you've ever been fearful of playing the game in case you lose your progress play the game after this comes out like you know you're not going to get hacked after that I, I really yeah, see this as like yeah. a foolproof plan. It sucks that they've released it so late. Was well, it been like six yeah. or seven years, or is it been five, six or seven years? Six years. Six years. Probably. Like it's Closing. six years too. It's six years too late. That for honesty. some people, for some people, it's six years too late. You're right. At least they've actually like pulled their finger out, and I mean, this isn't coming out till next year, so it's going to be seven years late. But like, at least they're finally doing something, you know. And who knows, it might be too late, but at least for us existing players, like, it's certainly a good thing, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they did uh, talk about some backup stuff here. Uh, losing your backup code in Authenticator. Once live, if you lose your Authenticator backup code, it will be possible to request help from player support. But this process will be very strict and require a very clear information to ensure that you are the owner of the account. No request will be action for at least 72 hours yeah that's great that's great that's great i think that should honestly circumvent most of the like you know hacker attempts to get your code or whatever an mm -hmm. authenticator removal process player requests uh, to player support will be a last resort you will not be able to rely on this service to manage your authenticator it will mean you aren't able to access your account for a minimum of 72 hours and the amount of evidence you will need to prove the account owner is very high okay that's cool. yeah that's cool so that's pretty much like what the we internet. said Kind the internet you made the account on and obviously like the roughly billing the billing address and, if you, and stuff like that yeah, yeah and if yeah like the first membership you ever paid for in the account like where it was because that kind of information is kind of like yeah you know ha ha it's difficult for hackers to get that information unless even you've online been truly, they can't find it yeah if oh. you've been completely fucked over and like hackers have doxed you they know where you live and let's bear this in mind this is only really applying to people that I would say primarily will be streamers, content creators, where they've had a target on their back. But in the rare occasion, I'd say there are like normal players as well. 
that that would have happened to and they were unfortunate enough to actually have to go through that but for the most part i'd say that's like content creators yeah. and i don't think that's a huge margin of people that have been hacked like that's quite a small yeah yeah, yeah very small they're like the yeah. issues from this backup code system is going to be from the very few that have yes. accounts that are so security flawed that like there is almost no hope in the first place. Yeah, you know? like like your password is your username backwards. Your password is password. <laughs> 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 your password is your last name. Your password is your phone number. Like, hey, oh but like God. if you were if you were dumb enough to do that, man, <laughs> it's a learning God. curve. And guess what? You might have lost a Ringscape account, yeah. but you learned a lesson. Yeah. So. Learned okay. it the hard way, but you got yeah. there in the end. Yeah. Here are our account security priorities: adding backup codes to authenticator in twenty twenty. That's huge. Okay, I'm willing to wait 2020 as long as they can make this system nice, you know, in 2020. We encourage everyone Agreed. to update their authenticators to add a backup code as soon as it's released. See, look, we, you know, please just make it a mandatory thing. Just spam people shits. Like, seriously, in game, bro. Give me an hourly message until these guys actually click on that shit. Like, dude, like, that's something right now. Which they have to me. do. They have so to. So, like, oh, yo, dude, wait, see, I... one second, one second. You know what okay, they okay. did? They recently added a message when you hit four hours of gameplay. I'll tell you, you've been playing for four hours. Consider taking a break. Bitch, yeah. why don't you add that, add this thing in the backup codes every hour? Because it's just yeah. as important, mm -hmm. honestly. Oh, Sorry. 100%. Yeah. But like what I was going to say about making it easier to move uh, easier to move your authenticator to a new device. Like I've got an old ass phone here. I've had this phone now for probably five years, right? And it's getting slow. And every day it gets slower. And my authenticator from my main account and a couple other accounts on this fucking dinosaur of a phone. And like, I genuinely have no idea if I get a new phone, how the fuck I move my authenticator. Like literally no clue. I've got no frigging clue how to do it. So yeah, I yeah. agree. It should definitely be easier. It should be easier right now. I'm not going to lie. It should be a lot easier right now. It well, shouldn't be so like, cause if this phone dies, I can get a new one. It's not a problem, but I, I lose my main account basically. Do you know what I mean? That's a big deal to well, me. Well, you, 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 can, you can take it off and put it onto another phone. It's just... Oh, uh, is that how you do it? You just, yeah. like, remove the authenticator? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, it's kind of okay. scary because, like, I'm not sure how this goes. Like, what if what if someone's been waiting for you to do that and then, and then they kind of, you know... Yeah. But, it, but I think that's very far-fetched. Yeah, I mean, they've been sat there for 15 but, years. But, yes, Rexy, you can you can just remove it and put it put it onto a new phone. But, like, you okay, know, I, I, I recommend you you are ready to do it fast as hell because, you know, just in case. Just in case yeah. the one in a million someone's stalking you for that moment. <laughs> I, I might go real cryptic and buy, like, a phone that is yeah. guaranteed to last my entire lifetime yeah. and just have my authenticator on there. And that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's my, my phone, my, my original phone for, for thing is old, but it's, like, I know it's good enough for a long time. So, it's all Gucci, but, yeah, yeah, you can switch it out. Um, What was I saying? Okay, make it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, to switch phones. Continue the password complexity work once we're happy that authenticator most care. Yeah, because, honestly, I, like, the password stuff is not, not as important out of everything. Like, backup codes making authenticator smoother is most important and and finally you know they can do like the extra you know icing on the cake you know uh uh sensitive passwords for once adding mm -hmm. things other than a b c d letters right like capitalizations commas you know stuff like that that can like make it even more you know complicated that that'd be great because like, our this... password is all lowercase at the moment and do it's only think... letters <laughs> Do you think numbers. that our technology will ever advance to the point where, like, our keyboard, mouse, and even webcam or computer screen will be able to either, like, scan our retinas or, like, keyboard yeah, will be able yeah. to trace, like, our thumb? I mean, they, like, already do, they, are, they already do this like shit that. on the phone, man. They already do this shit on the phone, so they can easily... Yeah, they can that would be... That. That'd be really cool. But obviously, like, technology would have to advance so far but if they let's stop be honest. making Rin RuneScape's, more keyboards. RuneScape's, like, 10 years behind everything, so it'll be, like, 10 years later. Yeah. <laughs> Very, very true. Pretty very true. much. Uh, but yeah, man, this is actually crazy, crazy news. And yeah, and did you know we uh, uh we managed to get to twenty nine minutes somehow? So oh, beautiful. But yeah, but Dude, cool. I will, I will, cool. I will say this, huh. man. Like I know that we bitch and moan about RuneScape and Jagex and all of this stuff. And believe me, like this account security stuff has been one of the biggest, most controversial things I've seen on Twitter. Twitter is like the only social media I use outside of YouTube. I've seen, and I see it all the time. 
and they posted this amazing update. I'm super fucking happy with it. They've spoken out about it. They've actually came up with a solution, which is the thing that I wanted to hear. A real and like, solution. This is dude, a real legitimate I've, solution. I've barely heard people like even retweet this or talk about it. Like the people that are like the big activists of this, they haven't even fucking retweeted it. They haven't even spoken about it. Like this is literally it. This is better than it. This is better than a response to accounts being hacked. This is like the solution yes. for accounts being hacked. Why hasn't this been fucking bigger? This is fucking huge. Guys, tell you know? your friends, tell your it. grandmas about this amazing thing coming out in 2020. And make Jagus accountable because they said 2020, so it better be in 2020, man. <laughs> and like, they, I mean, dude, 2020 is the year, man. Yeah. Old school RuneScape taking their game back. Kids uh, aren't going to be getting hacked for their decals anymore. Shit is going down. What else are we getting in 20? Uh, group Iron Man. 2020 is going to be a big yeah, fucking year so, for old RuneScape. This is great. So, to me, you know, like in our previous podcasts, when, when we've had the regular ones, we've always, always somehow bring, you know, bring back a certain controversial topics, right? Account security... Uh, I think I think there are like four or five m main issues that this game this community faces all the time, like forever and ever. It's always been like that. Account yeah. security, one of them, and the polling systems, another one. But you know they they've been slowly working on that. Uh, another one is the PVP issues, but it stems from the polling system. And yeah, I guess those three. There's there was like two more, but I couldn't I can't really figure out exactly what it was but yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm glad though this is probably uh, you know if i were to rank those is big issues this single-handedly is in like the top two by far yeah because this affects I, everybody so this, this is this crazy. is the update that we needed yeah. <laughs> like yeah, this no, was a really, need this wasn't even need. a want from anybody this was just a straight up need yeah i'm surprised that more people haven't like fucking gone crazy about it and like this is huge man like this is literally the update of the year in my opinion i'm so glad they've done it uh i'm just surprised more people aren't talking about it to be honest with you like i don't know why people aren't going mad about it on social medias people have been like criticizing jagex and fucking you know burning them at the stake for the last like couple of years and now they've come out with a solution and it's like well no one gives a fuck that irritates me man see like i'm all for bashing on something that i dislike but once it gets actually like finalized and something's done about it fucking props to them it's like they listened yeah, yeah, they've done a good job I'm happy with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I'm very, I'm very happy about this potential, you know, change or I guess this plan change. Dude, I'm gonna That's be making scary. like 20, 20 accounts in two thousand twenty, and none of them are gonna get fucking hacked. It's gonna be great. Yeah, that yeah, way. pretty much. But I think that's it. I think that's all we got for this, you know, one one topic. But uh, yeah, man. Let us yeah. know what you guys think, you know, about this format because we're gonna we can try to squeeze in some of these, you know. In between yeah. the main ones. Oh, I like that's another thing. If you guys think there's something where we could add this on top of that, this obviously isn't going to be a podcast. I mean, it's a it's a mini podcast, yeah, but we want to we want to we want to have a name for this kind of thing. So yeah, if you can think of like it could even just be fucking I don't want to call it Rune News because that's a knockoff of like everybody that makes RuneScape update yeah. videos. But like you know, a, a name to this would be great. And I, I think I speak for both of the boys here. It's like. We would like to do more than just one podcast. Yeah, Min Mac because... says Moo. So, yes. He said Moo, exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, it's nice just to come on here and talk some shit. And also, I'm sure you guys will appreciate having more than just one video a week. Yeah. You get two, and obviously, we can talk about anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be a RuneScape update. It could be some drama on Reddit, as much as yeah. I hate Reddit. So, we could we could dive into that cancerous pit on the internet and see what's up. Yeah, uh, so, yeah. also, also if, if you have single topic suggestions for future ones we you know definitely yes. leave some you know leave some because we can always take those ideas and like turn it into a mini podcast so agreed because sure. it yeah, doesn't anyways. have to be updates it doesn't have to be updates yeah. it, it could literally it could literally be anything as yeah, long as it's boys, a good topic yeah make sure if you enjoyed today's episode drop us a name down below um also i got an email the other day uh it was somebody that was a non-content creator asking if they could come on the podcast i'm personally very down for the idea of that i know that re and mint are as well so that might be something that happens in the future because I, I think it'd be nice to get like a diverse opinion and view on things in the game from people that don't necessarily play the game for a living you know i i think like it's a good idea just to get an angle from everybody so i think that will be an interesting thing but yeah if you guys have enjoyed today's video 
leave it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already if you're not subscribed and you're watching these videos what the fuck please i love you forever subscribe subscribe to the channel we're, we're basically doing this because we want to we want the podcast to pop off yeah like yeah. that's it's time, that's it's time the, to that's take it truth. a bit more seriously yeah it, it's time to take it to the next level send it like, to stardom baby let us know what you guys want to see and we're going to do our best to submit and provide <laughs> okay all right bye bye boys catch bye you boys. with another one